When it comes to revising for exams, you need to make sure that you've covered the most important topics that will be tested in your exam and you do so just before the exam date. Luckily, there's one tool that can help you manage this very swiftly and it's called Notion if you've already seen the title of the video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I use Notion to revise for exams. I'll take you along four steps that I used when I was revising for my own exam, so I hope they help. The first one is the Cornell method. Now, if you haven't heard of this already, it's essentially a method whereby instead of making notes like you traditionally do, just by typing the content, that's not the most effective way to make notes because if you're typing blindly, then the stuff won't even go into your brain. There are better ways of, you know, typing out notes, such as reading something and then writing it down in your own words. But if you're just gonna type things on Notion, then that's not a very effective way to learn. Instead, if you're not familiar with the Cornell method, method already, it's basically a method where instead of just writing notes, you write prompts or questions and then when you revisit those notes in the future, instead of just reading them passively, you're actually actively recalling yourself by answering the questions you've written. And the beautiful thing about Notion is that you can use toggle lists so that you can write a question as a toggle and then inside the toggle list itself you can actually put the answer of your question. That way when you're going through and revising you can just look through the toggles that you've made and you can answer the questions as you go along and and reveal the toggles and check whether your answer was right or not. And then with the use of highlighting things and you know text formatting and stuff, with the ones you got wrong, you can maybe highlight it a different color such as red so that when you revisit them again, you know that these are the ones that you got wrong. And the Notion database has loads of Cornell templates that you can use if you're not familiar with this concept already. So check them out, I'll link them down in the description below. So using this Cornell method and then reviewing your notes weekly is a good way to keep on top of things. Number two, is using Notion as a knowledge database. Now what I mean by this is whether you've got notes from lectures or from class, if you put everything into Notion, that way you can use the search functionality when you're revising and when there's a concept that you know you knew, but it's just not on the top of your mind right now. Luckily, if you have all the notes saved in Notion somewhere, you can easily just use the search function to find what you're looking for. And the search function on Notion is great. It kind of searches words and even if you misspell some certain words, you'll try and find similar things. And so the way I like to use it is, let's say I'm doing my Anki revision and then there's a certain topic that, you know, I know I've made notes on but I can't quite remember. What I'll do is I'll search that key phrase into my Notion because I know that they're in my notes on Notion somewhere. And so that way Notion acts as a central database where I keep my main notes and while I'm revising on Anki, I can refer to it and then I can use the search function to find the notes that I'm looking for when there's a concept that I'm, you know, stuck on on Anki. Okay, the third thing that's actually actually been very helpful in terms of my study plan and you know knowing when my exam is is using a widget from the website called indify.co. Now we can use that website to create a widget that will embed directly onto a Notion page showing you exactly how long you have until your exam date. That way when I look at my Notion homepage for my notes, I'll have that widget at the top so that I can quickly see how long I have left until my exam. The good thing about this is it quickly tells me, okay, I've got six weeks left until my exams. That gives me a mental framework of what I need to do and kind of helps me manage my study plan accordingly. If you're new to making a dashboard on Notion for your notes, and I've already made a separate video. In fact, I've made an entire playlist on how I use Notion during medical school. So if that's something you're interested in, then check the playlist out below. You know, it can apply to other subjects as well, not just medical school, but I just happen to be using it for my medical school notes. Okay, in step four, I'm gonna talk about how to actually use Notion while you're revising for your exams. So there's three components to this. One is using active recall with toggles. Second is exporting your documents as PDFs. And third is using flashcards. So I already touched upon active recall using the Cornell method in step one. So while you're revising for your exams, you can actually revisit your notes that you've made in your Cornell method and actually go through the toggles as you study. That'll be a lot more effective way to study than just passively reading because you're promoting that active recall to test your own knowledge. Now, the second great thing you can do with Notion is export your notes in a different format, such as PDF. I use this for studying for my exams by exporting my notes as a PDF and then downloading them onto my iPad. That way I could highlight things and write things as I went along using GoodNotes 5, which is, you know, like a note-taking application on iPad. And that gave me a different kind of format to study rather than always having to look at Notion and then when there were important tables and stuff that you know that I just I had to memorize and I would print off those certain pages and stick it on the wall. That way when I've got a moment or when I'm just at my desk 
I can just look at my wall and the important tables will be there. It's also good for things like reference tables, if there's you know certain things that you have to refer to every now and the, now and again, then it's good to you know stick those up on the wall so you have them there all the time so you can refer to them when you need to. And the third great thing you can do with your notes is actually turn them into flashcards. Now there is an easy way to turn your Notion notes into Anki flashcards using a very simple series of steps which I've already made a video about. So if you're interested in how to do that, then check out the video. But essentially I use these to convert the notes that I need to learn into Anki flashcards and then export them into Anki. That way I'm killing two birds with one stone. Instead of having to make notes on Notion and Anki as well, I can easily use the notes I already have on Notion and turn them into Anki flashcards without doing much extra work. So if you're interested in learning how I convert my Notion notes directly into Anki flashcards, then as I said, I've made a video on this already, so feel free to check it out. What this means is that Notion is a very effective tool if you use it in the right way for you to help with studying for your exams. Now some of these techniques in my videos seem a bit foreign to you and you need a bit more explaining then luckily for you I've made an entire series on how I use Notion in medical school. So if that's something you're interested in checking out, then feel free to do that. I've already made another playlist as well on how I use Anki in medical school. So if that's something else you're interested in, then feel free to check out that playlist as well. If you're new here, my name is Abian. I'm a medical student studying in London. So if you like this video, then feel free to like, subscribe. And if you want to sign up to my weekly newsletter, Swift Sunday, it's very short, won't take hardly any of your time reading it, then feel free to sign up up in the link in the description below. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again in my next video.